you're looking to develop lean muscles and long defined lines, then I have just the workout program for you. It's called the Lean Line Series using your total gym. We will do three different Pilates workouts that progress and build upon the previous workout. So by the end of the entire series, you will have one complete total body Pilates challenge. Now with Pilates exercises, we're working with inner core strength and power, and we're also emphasizing on proper biomechanics. So this first workout will include all the basics that you need to know to prepare your body and get you ready for more challenging exercises. So let's go ahead and learn the ready workout. Before we get into the exercises, let's make sure that your total gym is set up appropriately. The incline will be placed at a medium level with your toe bar attached. And we will also be using your cables. And with Pilates exercises, you'll move at a slow controlled pace with precision. So make sure that you're utilizing the breath through every movement, you're staying active in your core, and you're lengthening through your arms and legs so that you're really focusing on your alignment. Now with that being said, we will only be doing five to 10 reps per exercise, and we will only be doing one set through. So take your time, learn the exercise as well, and let's get moving. We'll start out with Pilates footwork. Come down to a seated position facing away from your tower and you'll cup the bottom of your glide board as you roll back, making sure that your hands are just cupped so that you don't get your fingers stuck. Bring your feet to the top of the toe bar in a Pilates turned out position, meaning your heels are together, your legs are zipped together and wrapped out so that you're activating through the legs even before you start. Keep your core engaged so that you're not arching through the back, you're keeping everything in nice and tight. So from right here, we stay high on our toes and we plie down and extend out. Now on the extension, you're zipping the legs together, wrapping them around so you feel this internal contraction and elongation through the legs, keeping your core tight as well. So we do this for a few movements to really warm up the lower half of the body as well as the core. And then you'll go right into running. So extend out through the legs, Feet come parallel, toes are still wrapped around the bar. You'll drop one heel under while the other one is bent. Feeling the stretch on the back side of the legs, the hamstrings, the calves, the glutes. And so you'll go into a nice rhythmic movement into the running. Then we'll move into spine and core preparation. Extend out through the legs, walk your feet down to the rails, extend out through the arms, keeping your ribs connected, no arching in the spine. Inhale to prepare, you'll tuck your chin and look up, articulating your spine one bone at a time as you round, shoulders stay down, and you're reaching up and over towards your toe bar. Then you'll stack your spine to a seated position and then reverse it by tucking through the pelvis and articulating your spine back down to the glide board. So the glide board is really nice because it rolls underneath of you and you can really feel that feedback. Again, you lead with your chin, your chest, your spine, shoulders remain down, reach up and forward, feel the stretch, and then activate your spine as you roll to a seated position, and then repeat the motion. So on your last rep of your roll up, you'll come into a transition for the long stretch series. So you'll stack your spine again, and then you'll close your glide board, bringing your knees down, tuck your toes, and all 10 fingers are gonna wrap on top of the toe bar. So you're gonna reach and push away so your arms stay long and the movement is from your shoulders, nothing else. So your body position will stay nice and strong in extension. So you're going to hinge the hips forward so that your body is already lifting up into an extension but not sagging through the spine. So keep it connected and keep it activated so you have one nice long line. Reach out through the arms as you push away and lead with the heart and the chest as you reach up. You should feel your back activating as well here. So everything is moving through the shoulders. Your core is really working hard here. And you're just trying to maximize that position. Again, utilizing your breath. That's really what it's all about. Connecting the mind, the breath, the motion, everything in Pilates here. And really stretching to create those long lean lines. Then we'll move into the ab series. So connect your cable and you'll lower your incline. Make sure you put your safety cushion back in. Take your cables and come into a supine position. So from right here, bend the knees, place your feet onto the glide board, extend out through your arms. So just do a few little preps to make sure that you're activating and your arms are moving. So when you bring your arms up and over, think about reaching through them, making them longer. 
When you're ready, you'll bring the arms down, lift the legs up, and you'll start to extend one leg while the other leg pulls in towards your chest. Feel the stretch through the leg as it's reaching and the other one is coming in towards you. So you have this opposition in the legs and you're reaching through the arms while the chest stays lifted. So there's a lot going on here, but you really wanna feel the leg lengthening as you're pressing away and the other knee drawing in to really activate through your core. Then you can start to use your arms. So take the top arm and bring it in with the knee and then switch and then switch. So you're pulling the knee in closer at the same time that you're reaching the leg away. So the legs stay parallel in this position. The next movement is your double leg stretch. So the arms reach towards the ankles, extend the arms and the legs in opposition, and then circle the arms around as they come towards the feet again. Again, my chest is lifted at all times. Then I zip and wrap the legs and pull them in towards me. Extend out, rotate through, heels together, circling out and around. Inhale as we reach, exhale as we scoop around and in. And then the last movement is the 100. Now the feet can be back down onto your glide board. They can stay up at 90 or you can use any variation. So I'll show you all three. So you start to pump the arms in a little tiny pulsing type motion while the chest stays lifted. So there's no pain in the neck. You want to stay lifted as high as possible and the glide board helps accommodate that because you're already at an incline. So you're inhaling for five breaths, pumping, exhaling for five breaths. So you can also take the legs up into 90. Again, pumping through, you're still counting to 100. You can extend out through the legs, zipping and wrapping them, making that elongation happening. You can change the legs from one leg splitting up or the other or you can keep them extended long. So it's really up to you. Just make sure that you are keeping your body lengthening, you're breathing at all times, and you're really getting that heart rate up while you're stretching and activating through the motion. When you're done with the 100, you'll roll back up and you'll remove the cables, getting ready for the leg series. And then come into a sideline position. So from right here, I like to place my foot onto the bottom of the rails, finding a little tiny mouse house between you and the glide board. A little space big enough for a mouse to run through into its house. So with this position, we're leading with the heels together. So we're gonna flex the leg up and then point the leg back down. So it's an up and a down motion. So it's not just a leg lift. I want you to think about elongating and stretching out through the leg and then bringing the leg back down together. So as you do this, really focus on keeping your hips and your ribs stacked. So you're not leaning back or leaning forward or arching your back. So everything is staying in that perfect alignment. Okay, once you're done with the ab adduction, you'll do some adduction. So place your top leg onto your foot bar and the bottom leg is going to lift up and down, working through your inner thighs, squeezing together, again, lengthening through the leg as it lifts keeping your ribs and your hips stacked. And you can do this exercise on both sides. We'll finish up with the mermaid stretch. So come into a side seated position. One leg is bent closest to the edge of the glide board and the back leg is bent back. Press one arm, palm presses out and away, bringing your shoulder blade down and activating through your lats. You're gonna reach the arm out to the side, press your body up through the rails, stretching over and then coming right back in. So as we stretch up and away, try to press your hips down into the glide board so that you feel your sit bones touching. Reach up and away, feel a nice side body stretch, and then come back again. So make sure that you do this one on both sides. Those were all of the basic Pilates exercises in the first Lean Lines workout. Practice the movements, do them often, become very comfortable with them, and then you'll be ready for the next workout in the series. Thank you.